Let's go ahead and bring in Steiner Sports CEO, Brandon this Steiner. One of the country's top this memorabilia mogul. I have an unbelievable guest, this Brandon is Steiner. Brandon's second to none. We're live with Ju. Ju? Yes. And I got to tell you, Ju came up to see me. First of all, I love people that just have the balls to, all of a sudden, you know, uh, Elliot introduced us, right? That's Elliot right. Robinson, who I love. Instagram guru, online guru. But I love the fact you just had that get up and go. Let I me mean, just go see Brandon, and all of a sudden you're here. And, I, and then I just love your story. I love the product already. I was going to take the shirt off his back. It wouldn't have been appropriate, but this just seems like you're on something very, very cool. Explain why you're here. You're from Amsterdam. Yes. You got this new line of product that seems very hot, although some of it's already in the U.S., but it's all over the world. What is baller? Well, explain how. What, what is it? Why? Why baller? Uh, thanks for having us uh, here today. Yeah, it's, it's, a baller is a, is, a, is a fashion lifestyle brand, and uh, we founded uh, the company in the Netherlands, Amsterdam. Maybe you know it. And um, uh, one of our partners is uh, is a former uh, Dutch uh, soccer player. And he played for the Dutch squad and uh, World Ch uh, World Cup in uh, in Africa. And the three of us we sat together and we came up with the plan like, like let's start a fashion lifestyle brand so as soon as the professional top athlete steps off the pitch the life of a baller begins that's actually what what the brand is all about so and so we have we have tees we have caps we have sweaters hoodies uh, almost everything actually uh, today but we also have big a investment to get something like that started because you know everybody's got an idea they want to pop it on a t-shirt this is more than that this somebody really thought about this the quality of the, all your products. Ben, we got to go on bar. Is it bar.com? Yeah, it is bar.com. We're, we're going on bar.com. I got to buy something here. I mean, I got to see if there's something I can afford. And because it seems like a, this is really good quality stuff, but Thank you. hard to get started. I mean, you need a lot of money to get something like this started. I mean, did you really start from scratch? We No, we, yeah, we really started from scratch. And, and we put uh, our own money behind it. But, but every, I think, and that's, I think, what's great is we started really with a couple of tees, with a couple of really great boxing uh, boxes. We have really great boxes uh, when you buy something uh, at our, our website so it started with one two four eight you know it's really on a daily basis start small and that's why it's, it's been a great adventure last four years because we now sell to over 150 countries opening stores uh, worldwide wow and how did uh, you get i mean I, I follow you guys on uh, i think it's instagram and your numbers are through the roof on social i don't know if you're following these guys but it's unbelievable um uh, how did you do that? How did you build such a big social media following and craze almost? Yeah, then maybe it's good to, that I tell you about the other brand. We have, of course, the 433. So, okay. 423? So 433. Four, three, three. 433. Four, three, three. In, in the soccer, that uh, stands for the Dutch system. So it's the four defense uh, players, uh, midfielders, and uh, three strikers. And... Um, Together with, I'm, the, I'm a little slow on the soccer. Thank you for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. so, so yep. we say football, of course, but it's uh, here's yep. soccer. Um, so when we decided to go uh, for the lifestyle fashion brand, Baller, we at the same time said we got to have our own platform community because social is coming up big time, and uh, we saw the transition going from online, you know, www to more uh, to social, and we decided to create our own football community, soccer community. And today we have 26 million followers. 26 million followers. Yes, we and have wh why, why? Why are they following you? What's the key? I think so a lot of people out there, entrepreneurs out yes. there. They, how do you get started? How now, do you get that? How do you get that going? My business partners like Ralph and uh, Rogier, but also Demi, we had a lot of experience in in uh, in the traditional uh, website business, f football, soccer communities, and we saw a lot of things going on. And I think most of the the television shows and websites talking about football, they take themselves very seriously. I think, and, and, and you see a lot of people following these companies, brands, and- So in the US, there'll be like ESPN yes, or NFL.com. Exactly, yeah, yeah. On, on, and on Instagram, we're way bigger than ESPN or uh, other accounts. You guys are. Yeah, we are way bigger, yes. You guys are some big, you guys are <laughs> yeah. swinging some big wood here, man. <laughs> 26 million. <laughs> yes, but I will explain to you. I think that, um, once you start following, for instance, ESPN or something, it's, 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 it becomes a habit. So every day, if you have five minutes spare time, you type in ESPN.com or you go to the app, and that's your habit. So we decided if we want to do something in soccer, to kill the habit is very difficult. So we said, okay, let's create a new 
football community and focus first on younger people because they don't are they don't have the habit yet. So it's easier to flip them. So we focus. Was there an aha moment here in this? No. Something that really clicked everything. We I think we got to just do more of this. It's, yeah. it's all a combination of things. It's a combination of, of, of the right people and uh, uh, the experience. As you, you, you all know, it's, it's experience and, and, and be on top of the things. You know, it's just yeah. f- seeing the things happening there and, 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 and make the right decision and say no to a lot of things. I think yeah. that's, that's very important. Saying no to a lot of things uh, is important. Yeah, How is. important is that? It's very important. I think especially when you work with a lot of young people, they're so enthusiastic and energy, and that's great. A lot of ideas. But you have to say to nine out of ten of the things, no. And I think that's, uh, for management, it's always like being able to say no to a lot of things. That's very important. Anything you said no to that you regret? That maybe you should have said yes? Mm, not, or are you, not, you're not, happy not, with your no's? Yeah, at, at uh, the last four years, we're quite happy. I think yeah. we're doing a lot of things right. So How big now? How big is Baller? How many, uh, what, what so we sell to over 150 countries. So we are now doing an invest around for, uh, for, for the company too. We a lot of a lot of companies, big, big names already are in, uh, showing interest uh, in our company. You're coming here to the U.S. or no? Yes, for sure. You're in Miami. Yes, with a pop-up uh, store in uh, Link- on Lincoln Road. And you can buy on your website. But if I'm in New York and I want to get some baller stuff, I saw Odell Beckham uh, <sighs> Jr. By the way, man, we gotta post. We gotta find that photo. We gotta post it. Oh, that's great. O- Odell, I mean, I, you know, I, Odell's a cool cat. Yeah. Odell doesn't wear anything and, unless it's cool. And he loves our brand. Because he defines coolness. I yes. mean, and he seems like he likes the brand. I've seen him wear a couple of things. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Uh, there are a lot of NBA players already and NFL players yeah. loving our. Uh, they love our brand, so we must be doing something right. But it's very so. No, on the internet, you can buy our stuff. But we actually yeah. last days we had a, on Monday we looked for some shop uh, potential in in Soho, ah. uh, so uh, Brand Street, <laughs> Apple Store, uh, that area, uh, around the corner of Supreme. A lot of cool brands over there. Kit, you know. Uh, but cool. we definitely got to have the right place, and else we don't do it yet. Uh, we're looking at some multi-brand stores, you know, uh, to be able to to work with them together. So it's it's we will we will get there, you know. But uh, first, now London is coming up, Berlin. Uh, so we have to uh, open our own flagship yeah. stores. But we work also with a lot of wholesale partners already. The end of the year, we'll have two hundred uh, uh, retail points. Wow, so this is a big brand. Yeah, it's, this it's is no becoming, joke. It becoming what, what is the number one? What is the couple? What are your top selling items? Is it your T-shirt? Is it, I, yeah. I, I, I thought I saw sneakers too. Yes, our sneakers is just starting actually, and they are oh, they already sold out immediately. But it's like the uh, we believe that I, at the moment it's tees, caps, hoodie, sweaters. And for sure, I think in the top three next year, if you ask me in the 12 months, it will be sneakers in the top three, for sure. When you think about building a brand, which is just amazing what you've done here, I mean, the f- social following, the, the coolness to your brand, like what, yeah. what's, the, what's the, if somebody's out there that's watching, that's thinking about starting a brand or wants to start something, what's the key ingredients that just get at the beginning stages? The right team, right people, for sure. Talent acquisition. <laughs> yeah. Critical. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. Um, 24-7 uh, attitude. And Are you on social, like, constantly? Is your yeah. Co- every, everybody uh, constantly no, just... I had a lot of business partners, colleagues in the past, <coughs> but, but uh, the moment I hooked up with my current business partners, there was a click. And I think the click, that's what you uh, uh, should go for. The click where you uh, can... It's It's... Uh, every night, even at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, we send each other through via, uh, WhatsApp. We have WhatsApp, uh, I message or WhatsApp. Constantly new new things inspire each other on a daily basis. And, and stay hungry. I think that's very important. Stay hungry. So all the countries, all the following, all the sales, are you as hungry today as you were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, And, of course, we are so much enjoying the ride you know it's it's, it's we, are so, we are proud but we still and enjoy- i'm sitting here today with a legend so that's, oh, that's, that's, no, no, well, but, thank you i appreciate no, but, that but i'm sitting here with i just want to know if you're going to remember me yeah. in a couple of years the way you guys are rolling yeah. um do you feel like you've had your best i mean is it is a product creation or is it the interaction with the customer or both both yeah it's both it's both and every day evaluate what you did today if that's still the the, the way uh, to go for you, are we still uh, going for in the right uh, direction? Is this what what the world is heading to? Is is this what technology uh, uh, sends us or gives us an opportunity? In only looking only at Instagram or Snapchat, but 
all the developments going on. Looking at social commerce, what is now they do a better now with Spotify, uh, Shopify, sorry, Shopify and Instagram. So the way we had today is that there will be one click commerce. So you see something on, on social, you do some storytelling, so people, so there's momentum and people can instantly buy your product or service or whatever. So upcoming year, there will be a huge transition. So I think and again, it's a game changer. It's a game. Oh, definitely. Also for your business. There's no question. I'm actually looking forward to that. Yeah. See something like it, buy it. Don't, don't have to give a lot of thought and cut down on the amount of clicks. Yes. I think five years ago we said to each other when the online business started, really, it started off really. We said everything should be within the two clicks, and now it's everything should be within one click. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like this brick? 1929 in the bullpen of the old Yankees, not in the bullpen, the batting cage of the old Yankee Stadium, we found these bricks. Yes. You're watching this interview, just two guys talking. You like the brick, click on it, boom, you got it in your house in two days, no problem. So it's instant, instant pleasure. Yeah. Tough keeping up on the fashion end of things, or is it more important to say no? You said no, like no is such an important aspect, and I agree with you. I think that we got lost at Steiner here a little bit. We started trying to do too many things, doing too much, instead of staying with what we did best. Is the hard part because everybody wants to now do the belt, now do the socks, now do the shoes, um, or? Myself, I'm, I'm more the brand guy, you know? I'm looking more at the, yeah. the brand direction. I'm not the, the fashion, you know? That we have other people way better in, 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 in the fashion business than I am, and we have the right designers, and we getting uh, getting in more great designers not too too many because if you have too many designers everyone everybody wants to That's be creative okay, yeah so the brand is going in every direction because all the the creative people want to have their thing you know so you should go for the synergy the right balance there and uh, but of course when other people are better than you in some things let them yeah that's it Hey, if you're wearing Baller or you like Baller, I want to hear from you. Tell me what you think of this product. It's really cool. If you go online, go look at Baller.com. Hit me with some feedback, and then obviously we're going to prize out some stuff, some gift cards, whatever your best comments. And good, bad, and indifferent. I want to hear from it. It's too expensive. It's not expensive enough. Who's the coolest? So please, let's let's get some feedback, and uh, I'd like to hear you know what's going on. Tell me what you're thinking. Because usually we have some pretty upscale customers that like really cool stuff. It kind of goes with the Steiner, but... Who's the coolest celebrities that are wearing, have worn your stuff that you're like, wow, I can't believe that person's wearing this? Uh, to be honest, the moment when uh, Neymar started wearing our, our stuff, that was like, wow, what a mouse. He's like, then we made it, you know? It's, 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 uh, and it's, how does that happen? It's the most like, how do you get a celebrity to wear your stuff? How do you go about it? They ask for it. So really? One of his best friends, we already uh, had a relationship with, he came to us, he said, Neymar wants to have some stuff, so can you send some st things over? And we did. Wow. We didn't say no. And he just... Yes. They had the guts, that's one of the important things. They have be, to be willing to have it, you know, instead of being paid for it. No, there, there should be some... So you don't pay your celebrities nope. to wear anything? No. no. You want them to want it, and you want them to want to wear yeah, it. Yeah, for, for example. Not have to wear it. The first year we started, like, uh, there was, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you, uh, you know the guy, Fernando Torres. He's a very famous Spanish soccer player. Okay. And and we saw the name F. Torres, and he ordered some stuff, and we checked it out. Is, is this really the man? Yes, it is him. And I think that's that's exactly what we like to have. The, he, he wanted to have it first that was first he bought really some stuff and then we started the relationship i'm with you too I, we, we go through the orders too we see athletes and celebrities buying our stuff it yes. just it really just makes me just oh, i just want to start crying because that's real yeah that's real yes you know when you see athletes and and, and you know super bowl champions big names online paying full retail like to buy your stuff because they they respect and, and, and when like they it. pay for oh, it just amazing. they value it Oh yeah, and, and and they do value it because they didn't have to buy it; they wanted to buy it. Exactly. I love this stuff. It has a coolness to it, like you too, man. And and, and the I mean, just the way you've kind of put all this together is is fascinating to me. I wish you all the luck. What do you want to leave our audience with? Give me a couple of things that what's going to make what's made Baller the best, and what's going to make Baller the best going forward. Um, I think uh, what's going to make for us uh, to make it to go forward I think it's stay honest to each other within the team you know be open I love the 24-7 it's a 24-7 stay hungry 
make sure that it's fun because it's, if it's not fun anymore then talk about it and, 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 and decide how to go forward with each other um, go for quality go for honest relationship and go for relationship with your customers that's really important you know it's, it's not a one way thing it's, it's, it's two way and, 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 and we make sure that you uh, hire the right people Right characters, very important. Talent acquisition yes. is huge. Huge. Because when you don't hire the right people, it's just twice as much effort to f- replace them, get rid of them, yeah. and um, and then God knows you don't have the result you want. And travel to meet people. Yeah. To meet the right people, new people. I love that you guys just got up and got on a train and you know got up here. I love that. I mean, that just that's the stuff. Um, it's you know what I love about the brand it just feels healthy it feels now if if there's a certain coolness to it but it just feels now it feels like a healthy brand baller.com